Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and a tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can easily color grade your images or how you can easily process your raw images in camera or even in Lightroom and make those photos pop as if or the way you are looking at them at the back of your camera screen when you're shooting them. So I know so many people have that kind of phobia or fear for shooting in RAW because you don't know how you're going to get back the colors and make them pop as you're doing various adjustments onto them. So I want to show you how you can change this image from looking the way it is right now and we just want to work on it and see how we can make it pop uh, within the camera raw filter. So what we're going to do, you're just going to come to the interface and this is a raw file. You can see the information right it is a raw file from my Canon 60 camera. I took it some time back last year and I shot it at ISO 100 it was getting it was getting cloudy and it was almost raining so basically i shot it at ice 100 using my 85 mm lens and i shot it at f 2.8 and you can see the shutter speed was in high speed sync and it was a li one light setup you can see it right here so basically what i'm going to do for this image i'm first of all going to recover the highlights in the image so for recovering my highlights, I'm just going to simply come to the basic adjustments and I'm going to leave the profile in Adobe Color. So I'm just going to take the highlights down just like that to recover the blown out details, for example, in this area or in the outfit or the mode. Just see the before and this is what we have. And nothing's going to be doing the same for the whites. So you have to take these adjustments depending on the effect they have onto your image. So you can see by taking the whites down, we recover more information in the outfit of the model. You can see the before and after right now. So right now what we want, we just want to add contrast and by adding contrast, we're just going to simply take the blacks down slightly and it's going to add a tiny bit of contrast to this photo. Then you can see the background right here, we are losing out on the information because this area has shadows so you have to take your adjustments the way you're looking at the image at hand because when you cram this you may be having different settings and those may not be working for you so you can see we are now trying to get rid of the shadows in the image or in the background so i'm just going to open up my shadows and get back a little bit of the information within the back area of the model and after that, I'm just going to come and turn up my contrast. Just around 8 looks good. And after doing all this, so this is more of the basic adjustments. And it is more of correcting lighting issues within the image. So I'm just going to come to the clarity and add a tiny bit of clarity. And up to around 3 and a little bit of vibrance to the image around just add it to around five five looks good so after adding or making those adjustments we're just going to come to our hue saturation and luminance slider so under hue saturation and luminance we're just going to tweak these colors so that we can have a more better looking image for example in the sky right here and also within the skin tones of a model so i'm just going to go all the way down to my color mixer and you can see we have hue, saturation, and luminance. So hue is the change of a given color depending on how you want it to look or how you want to either make it look like the color on top of it or below it. For example, if at all I'm to hue the oranges towards the left hand side, it means I'm going to be making the orange, the yellows look like a color on top of it. So moving a, a slider towards the left hand side, you'll be making that color look like the color on top of it and moving it towards the right hand side you'll be making the color look like a color below it you can see it is making the yellows in the image look green so that is what basically hue is all about and saturation is the intensity of a given color so you can see when i take the saturation up you can see how evident or how vivid the yellow color is in this case and luminosity or luminous is more of the brightness or darkness of a given color so what we want to do just want to play around with the skin tone or skin color of a model 
So I'm just going to hue the red towards the oranges so that I can have a better or warmer skin tone and get rid of the magentas within the image. And I'm also going to hue the oranges towards the yellows so that they can really uh, work hand in hand and be in harmony. So just look at the skin tone in the before and the after. So this looks quite better. So I'm just going to come to the luminous and I'm going to slightly darken my oranges by taking the so when you're taking the luminous slide that was the left hand side you'll be darkening that color and when you take it towards the right hand side you'll be brightening a color so i'm just going to take it slightly down to around negative two and that looks great and i'm just going to come back to the hues i'm just going to hue my reds even more to around 22 looks great so the next thing i want to handle within the image is the sky and the greens and in order to handle this, I'm just going to come to the luminous and I'm going to slightly darken the blues within the sky by coming and clicking right here. So I'm just going to click right here and I'm just going to take down the blue and darken. You can see that makes the blue darker and taking it up will brighten up the blue. So I'm just going to slightly take it down to around negative 23 looks great. And after doing that, I'm just going to come back to our greens and brighten the greens in the background. So I'm just going to brighten the greens just like that by taking the slider up. And I'm going to hue the sky and make it look a little bit or have that kind of teal look. So I'm just going to come to the hue still and I'm going to take my blues slightly down. After a negative 20... So negative 21 is fine. I think that's a little bit too much. So 19 looks great. And I feel like that is a little bit too much. So 16 looks great. So you can see the before and after so far. So just want to make the image pop a little bit more. So we started with the basic adjustments. And under basic adjustments, we are correcting the lighting issues. And right now, we are now correcting the color issues. Then the final step is going to be making the photo pop even more so by making it pop you're just going to come to the calibration tool and under calibration we are going to play around with these sliders so you can see under blue primary and green primary we have a range between yellows and towards the blues and we also have the aquas towards the purples so first of all i want to make this you can see under the hue we have all these range of colors so as i'm taking this we even have a little bit of yellows so when i'm taking the saturation up you can see that this is going to make those colors a little bit concentrated and making them pop even more just look at how popping the colors have turned out to be so i'm just going to just add a slight bit of pop towards the colors and i'm just going to hue this towards a little bit on the red side you can see it adds that kind of orange and teal look to the image but that's a little bit too much just want to add a slight bit of teal so negative 8 looks good i'm also going to you can see we still have a range between blues and yellows and i'm just going to come the saturation of the green primary and just take it up just like that and when you take it all the way up you can see the image pops so much but and it really looks overdone so just make sure you add a slight bit of that pop so i'm just going to take it up up to around 17 or around 15 15 looks good 15 16 and now just look at how the image is really popping in this case just look at the before and after before after you can see how nice and popping the image has turned out to be so anything i would love to do i'm going to come to the shadows and i'm going to add you can see you can add a specific color within the shadow of the, of the image so i just feel like i want to add a little bit of magentas within the shadows just a tiny bit after around just one is good so less is better when it comes to editing so this is the before after before after just see how nice and popping the colors have turned out to be so if at all you feel like you have done 
too much you can come back to the color mixer and simply uh, reduce on the given color so i'm just going to desaturate the blues slightly just a by a tiny bit and also reduce on the aquas just like that so the image can look a little bit natural but it can still pop in this case so just look at the before and after before after so this is how to edit and color grade your offers and make them pop within photoshop and if at all you have found this helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have learned something new and don't forget to hit the like button and drop a comment in the comment section Runnings from on photography thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating